Hey there guys, it's Kyle here. This is Q&A number 57. There are 35 questions for this Q&A. I'm gonna go get started and answer them for you guys. The first question is, since Lifton and Zombies makes videos about every Pokemon Go community day, uh, uh, that includes him catching a Shundo Pokemon from each community day. Do you think he should hunt for the Shundo Totodile and the Shundo Swineup in December since he didn't get those during Totodile Community and Swineup Community? I think so. But he didn't get the Shundo Mudkip from Mudkip Community. I'm sure he might do that uh, in December as well. Because I do enjoy watching those videos. The next question is, did Doug Demir ever review the Volvo? S60 Polestar. Yes, he did. I'll put a link in the description below. Go check it out. The next question is, did you enjoy the Pokemon Go community that had featured Mudkip? Yes, I enjoyed Mudkip community day. Man. The next question is, when is the next Pokemon Go community day event? August 3rd. I just gotta figure out what Pokemon is gonna be featured for the next community day. The next question is, did Shiny Straw Hat Pikachu ever get released? Yes, Shiny Straw Hat Pikachu got released. I haven't found one yet. I really want to get it. Oh man. If you guys want to see what Shiny Straw Hat Pikachu looks like, uh, one of my Facebook friends sent me a picture of the Shiny Pikachu. This is what the shiny straw hat Pikachu looks like. I really want to get this shiny so bad. The next question is, did Doug DeMira ever review the Chevy Corvette C5 Z06? Yes, he did. I'll put a link in the description below. Go check it out. The next question is, what legendary Pokemon did you get from your research breakthrough box? Regular Kyogre. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, regular Kyogre. Sorry, I had to sneeze. The next question is, what are the five Pokemon do you mostly want to have community day events? Rhyhorn, uh, Porygon, Gibble, Trapinch and Rolls. The next question is, who has been taking your shiny luck? Someone from my Facebook, obviously. The next question is, did Doug DeMiro ever review the Ferrari California? Yes, he did. I'll put a link in the description below. Go check it out. The next question is, what three community day uh, shiny Pokemon did the Demon Zombies encounter in nests recently. Shiny Bulbasaur, that was a community day Pokemon. Shiny Chikorita, that was a community day Pokemon. And Shiny Slackoff, that was last month's community day Pokemon. So yeah, he got three full odds community day shinies uh, at nests for shinies that he was looking for, even though those three weren't the ones he was looking for. The next question is, are you excited for Sweet Coon Raid Day? Yes, I am. The next question is, when are Shadow Pokemon coming to Pokemon Go? They're actually out right now. Oh man, I gotta get my very first Shadow Pokemon eventually. Maybe tomorrow I'll get it. I'll I think what I'm going to do is probably, while I'm hunting for the shiny straw hat Pikachu, I'll try to get a shadow Pokemon. The next question is, who is playing the Mudkip Community Day event with you? My cousin and uh, my mom. The next question is, where did you go for Mudkip Community Day? North Star Mall, I already told you guys. The next question is, do you think you will get yourself another shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Let's Go? I actually did recently. I got my second shiny Pidgey. 
and Pokemon Let's Go. I gotta get a shiny Pidgey in Pokemon Go. The next question is, why was there a glitch where Pokemon Go trainers don't get to see what Pokemon they hatch from eggs? I don't know, but it was ridiculous. The next question is, did you see any Flower Crown Pikachu and Flower Crown Eevee spawns at the event you went to last weekend called PokeFest SA? No, I wish, because I still want this shiny Flower Crown Eevee and the shiny Flower Crown Pikachu. The next question is, how many times have you encountered Shiny Mudkip during Pokemon Go Community Day? 14. That is not bad. I kind of tied Trico Community Day. I got 13 Shiny Tricos and a uh, full odd Shiny Caterpie during that Community Day. The next question is, what Tier 5 Raid Boss do you think will be coming after Armor Mewtwo? Um, maybe Rayquaza? Because the shiny Rayquaza, oh my god, the black on that uh, on that shiny, oh my god, super clean. If if Rayquaza comes back in raids, I am so going to get that shiny if it ever gets released. The next question is, how many 100% IV Pokemon do you have? I do have a few. I actually have 12 total. My newest one, I already showed you guys, it's, it's a regular Aaron. I wish it was shiny, that would have been incredible. Yeah, it's a new uh, ID checker, so when it's like this, that's 100% ID. The next question is, what is your opinion on Shiny Mudkip? One of the best looking shinies, in my opinion. The next question is, did you get your Swampert with the exclusive move Hydro Cannon? Yes, I already told you guys last night, I got two of them. The next question is, if there was a way that people can decide what Pokemon they want for the future Community Day events, would you come up with your own ideas of Pokemon that could be featured uh, for community day events? I would. The next question is, why does Mystic 7 use a Nava Berry on every shiny Pokemon he encounters? I don't know. He should use a Golden Raspberry, which he does because he gets nervous if he doesn't. Uh, like, like say, if he savage sees it in a shiny uh, and it jumps out, he's afraid. He is afraid that the shiny will run. That's why I use a golden raspberry, because I do not want shinies to flee. The next question is, why do you think Rhyhorn should be a community Pokemon? Because it's going to be similar to Swine of Community Day. Because during Swine of Community Day, we got 10 free set of stones for PvP. The next question is, what is your opinion on Shiny Entei? It's a pretty good shiny. The next question is, what is your opinion on Shiny Suicune? It looks really good. Hopefully, I will get it. Probably in one of the raids I'll do during Suicune Raid Day. The next question is, who caught the most Shiny Mudkip during Community Day? Me, obviously. 14 Shinies. My cousin got 5, and my mom got, uh, I think, 9. The next question is, how many encounters did it take you to get your first shiny mudkip? It actually took me two encounters. The first mudkip I clicked on when the community day started, it wasn't shiny. But the second mudkip I clicked on, it was shiny. I was just like, yo, shiny mudkip, second check. What? Because then, yeah, once again, that has never happened to me before in any of the previous community days I've done. The next question is, why do you always have bad luck when shiny Pokemon are wearing costumes? I don't know, because I know they're extremely rare as hell, man. I really want to get that shiny straw hat Pikachu, because I only have one week to get it. Man. The next question is, are you going somewhere this week? 
to hunt for the shiny straw hat Pikachu? Yeah, I'm going to Six Flags tomorrow. Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. Oh man, that will be the place for me to hopefully get the shiny Pikachu because I really do want it. Oh man. Wish me luck, guys. The next question is, have you ever gotten back-to-back -back shiny luck uh, before in Pokemon Go? I have uh, a few times. During uh, Chikorita Community Day, I got back-to-back -back shiny Chikorita. During uh, the Reaccount Community Day in December, I got back-to-back -back shiny Dratini. Uh, during Swine Up Community Day, after I caught that shiny Swine Up off an incense, the second Swine Up I clicked on after that one was shiny. I was just like, yo, back-to-back -back shinies! Because <laughs> that was awesome. And the final question is, what would you, what would you be, uh, uh, actually, what would be your reaction if you encountered the shiny straw hat Pikachu during the One Piece event? This will be my reaction, guys. I'll be like this. What? What? Yeah, that's gonna be my reaction, because because you guys already know that I have horrible luck with shiny Pokemon wearing costumes, but if I get it, I'll be like, <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, guys, that's all the questions for this Q and A. The next Q and A is gonna be on July 29th. So don't forget to send me questions in the comments below because I want to answer them for you guys for next week's Q and A. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel, drop a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Bye-bye.